Is there such a thing as story intuition? I would lean to saying yes. I, I think um, I think certain people do have something innate within them that uh, that where they just understand character and and they understand the direction that stories need to go in. I think other people might require a little bit more work to get there. So I'm not saying that some people just have it and some people don't. I just think some people maybe have a little bit more of an advantage based on where they're from or where their mind was focused at on a, at a young age. Um, that seems like a very scientific answer to a metaphysical question. <laughs> where do you think you fall on that spectrum? I wouldn't say I have all the intuition in the world, but I do, I, I, I've been interested in storytelling and filmmaking since I was 11 or 12. So I, every, the way that I've perceived the world has sort of been, you know, with that in mind, I want to make a movie. So I think that certainly helps when you know early on in your life that you want to do something in entertainment because you think in that way. And so, you know, your brain becomes wired in that way. And I think it helps when, fast forward 15 years, you decide to write a screenplay. You have now spent all this time watching movies thinking, I want to do that. And so it sort of, it helps. Whereas there are a lot of people that, you know, might be a mechanical engineer. And then when they're 30 years old, they're like, actually, I want to become a screenwriter. And then it takes a little bit of learning and a little bit of, uh, you know, education to, to get there. And they might be, you know, even better than I was, but... It, it requires more, I guess, um, you know, proactiveness. It, it requires a little bit more education to get there. All right. So on one end of the spectrum, maybe a story technician and on the far end, a story alchemist or something. Exactly. Then... <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. Yeah. <laughs> In the middle is, is sort of both. Okay. That sounds good. Do you think that if intuitively someone doesn't know story that they'll never be a writer? You know, you talked about the engineer, this hypothetical writer. I think I, I, I actually believe that anyone can be a writer. I think I think it's all just a matter of how much you're willing to put into it to actually tell an interesting story or complete your story. Um, I think everyone has a life experience that can be interesting in, in some way. And I think it's just sort of up to them to have the will to learn how to take that experience and translate it into a story that anyone can watch and anyone can understand and anyone can enjoy. And does the life experience have to be necessarily traumatic? Definitely can not. People... No, <laughs> it doesn't have to be traumatic. It just has to be, it just has to be interesting and memorable to you. And, and I think... Some of those stories will resonate with a lot of people. Some of those stories will resonate with a small group of people. But I find it hard to believe that there is anyone in this world who has only experienced one thing that no one else has ever experienced before. And even if that is the case, then that would be a pretty damn interesting story. So writers can be happy, productive people. They don't have to be self-loathing. No, they definitely don't have to be. No, <laughs> I think it's normal to go through periods of self-loathing and self-loving. Um, but yeah, it's, I don't think it's one or the other.